Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. As you may have remembered, I uh, said that that was supposed to be the ninth Jiggy of the level, but it turned out being the eighth, that one I got at Rusty Bucket Bay. The eighth Gruntilda's Lair Jiggy. So I kind of confused, I was a little confused by that, so I, th I decided to look into it, and I realized I forgot to get the Gruntilda's Jiggy from Mad Monster Mansion. I realized this, and now I'm here to correct that mistake. There we go. So yeah, I forgot to grab this Jiggy, so that kind of threw off my, uh, kind of threw off my counter there, my Jiggy counter. Now we have nine Jiggies, and I didn't want you guys to miss it, even though I was tempted to off-screen that. I decided, whatever, I'll include it. So now it's time to open up Click Clock Wood. <clears throat> In order to do this, we have to go backtrack quite a bit. But thank thankfully, I uh, I can just kind of shortcut around with my cauldrons that I've unlocked. So yeah, we have to find the puzzle to Click Clock Wood, and in order to be sneaky, clever little people, they hit it way up here at the beginning of the layer. Now, I came here earlier off screen and uh, got some questions for later on, got some answers for something we'll be doing later on. And uh, if you come here early, you cannot fill in this puzzle piece because that jiggy pad isn't there, which is why we had to go hit that switch. But now that we have hit the switch and we have filled a, filled up the puzzle, it is time to go into Click Clock Wood. This is a one of my favorite levels. I don't know if it's my absolute favorite. I like it a lot. It's just it's just a well-made level. I enjoyed it. It's it's one of the most memorable. It's the last level. You know, and it's it's not a very hard level, believe it or not. So it might might seem a little boring compared to uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, but uh, I enjoy it. It is my favorite level. I've been waiting to get here for a long time. So let's do this. It's time to go into Click Clock Wood. Now there's something different about this level. It's not just one area. Rather, it's uh, four sections. It's like four different levels, and yet the same one at the same time. You, uh, you kind of pass through time here in this level, and we're going to start out in spring. And uh, I think that's part of the reason why I like this level so much, is the fact that you can actually tell time is passing. And some of the stuff you do, like, in spring, changes how things happen later on. So you really kind of feel involved in the level, and I think that's why I like it. The other levels are nice, but you don't really feel involved in them. They're just obstacles to get through. This one, you actually feel like you're a little bit a, a part of it, you know? So, here's Click Clock Wood Springtime. I do need to warn you of one thing. We're going to be faced with a lot of squawking birds. A lot of squawking birds. Just like that one. So, do be warned. There's going to be a lot of that. I mean, a lot of it. This is probably the only thing I don't like about the level, is the fact that everywhere you go, there's something screaming in your face. Just like that. But aside from that, it's a good level, and I enjoy it. And what have we here? We have a flower patch, it looks like. So what else is there to do other than lay some eggs in there? And that happens. Exciting, huh? 
Something else you'll be faced with are involved jiggies, where you really can't do much. You can't get the jiggy until after you've done some stuff, and I think that's something that did annoy some people about this level. Is the fact that you couldn't just grab jiggies most of the time. You had to uh, kind of wait until the very last. You had to wait a while, so... There goes the bird, again, for the hundredth time. Oh, and I just fell, like I've done all throughout this game. But that's okay. I'm going to try to use these leaves to get back up. It's not recommended that you do that, though, because they're tiny and they're hard to jump on, as you've probably noticed. So instead, screw that. I'm just going to go this other way. Now, don't you just love this music? It's so upbeat and happy and, like, nature-y. You know. It's so perky. <laughs> it's not as catchy as the Rusty Bucket thing. But, uh, it's alright. It's good. We'll let it pass. I give this theme a, a thumbs up. And now it's time to start climbing the tree. More birds. My god, more birds. And the beehive. Yep, this tree's got it all. And let me tell you right now, this is one place where the camera can definitely screw you over. Because there are no safety nets here. So if you miss a jump, you're going all the way down. And it's not a guaranteed death like in the Rusty Bucket engine room, but it will hurt. Oh, trust me. This is the voice of experience here. It will hurt. Bad. So you gotta watch your jumps here. But that's also what makes it fun. It's an actual platforming level. And what have we found? We have found... The Summer s Switch. Now we can go into the Summer section of the map. But before we do that... Let's keep going, see what else we can get into. Get another mumbo head? And good lord, what could have possibly laid this egg? That is a huge egg. Well, let's hit this conveniently placed X and find out. Why it's... A baby eagle the size of a house who just fell over and went to sleep. Okay, that made perfect sense. And these jumps are very easy to miss. And let me tell you, you don't want to fall from up here. You really don't. We have a Jinjo. I'll get him in a minute. Alright, so this is way at the top of the tree. What do we get? Why? A jiggy. First jiggy of the level. Well, first jiggy of spring and the first jiggy of the level, so that's uh that's quite a quite an accomplishment there. There we go, and that's our first Jinjo. So, let's just slowly make our way back down to a safe ledge. And uh, I think I'll uh, catch you guys next time. I think I'll shut it down here. Um, there's still more to do here, but not enough time to do it in. So, I will see you guys next time when we continue exploring the uh, season of spring in Click Clock Woods. So, see you guys later.